Growing up black in America has taught me pretty much to feel as if I have to work twice as hard to be seen half as good. I would frequently push myself to the edge of burnout just to go out of my way to prove that I'm exceptional or that I'm a good black person because there's so many stereotypes and ideals about what black people are supposed to be. Systemic racism is just pervasive. It's literally in every aspect of our lives. So my anxiety as a black woman, a lot of it is hypervigilance, just always being aware of how I'm being perceived and a lot of microaggressions that I've experienced. We don't talk about how it harms us emotionally and mentally. Given that I've had my fair share of racist events from either being called the N-word to my face, being publicly humiliated by white co-workers of mine, being treated as less than by managers, having my hair publicly commented on, people misnaming me or calling me different names that are not my name, the way I speak, how I present myself. Because of my anxiety, I constantly am policing myself and policing just how I present myself to people. And it often leads to a point where I feel like I don't want to encounter new people who may potentially judge me just for the color of my skin. My depression reached its peaks just with the, within these recent protests because I just felt so hopeless. I felt so helpless. I was like, will this ever end? What's, why am I living in a world where we constantly have to debate and fight about whether black people's lives are worth living? And to a point it made me feel like, well, is my life even worth living if I have to constantly prove that to people who just obviously aren't understanding? And I, I hate that I ever got to that dark point in my life. I really don't want to go back there. I've been seeing a therapist for about two years now. We walk through these feelings quite often. I, I learn that a lot of what's going on in the world does trigger my depression. And when I notice these triggers, I kind of have to learn how to soothe myself in a way and fight these feelings of hopelessness by looking to things that I know give me hope. But I also want our non-black allies to be aware of how racism, you know, affects our livelihoods in general and that we don't navigate this world the same way as everyone else. A lot of black people may be getting messages from, you know, their non-black friends saying, how are you or how are you dealing? You know, I, I commend them for reaching out, but I recommend that when the world isn't falling around us, like don't reach out only at that time, reach out to us in general. If you can step in and figure out, you know, how can I make the world easier for Black people, do it. Learn it. There's so many resources out there. Just saying Black Lives Matter is the absolute minimum. I want to live in a world where Black lives don't just matter, but they're cherished and they're appreciated and they're seen. Until now, it just seemed so taboo to even talk about racism and its effects mentally, physically, societally. And no, I don't want to live in a world where black lives are constantly seen as if we don't matter. And just another thing is that why do we only have to talk about black lives matter when somebody is hurt or when somebody is dying? I don't feel like we should have to die for people to fight for our lives. That just completely defeats the purpose. Cherish us while we're here. Appreciate us while we're here. Fight for us while we're here because Racism taking us out of this world should not be the end all be all of this fight. It just shouldn't at all. Thank you.